good afternoon, wood butchers. It's a dreary, rainy day outside, and I gotta work on some stuff here. So, the termite turned to me and said, Dad, you gotta up your game. You've only got 500 subscribers. You better start doing some stuff better. I went, okay. So, we're gonna start greening up the computer system. We're gonna look at uh, making some better videos for you guys. Maybe even a little bit of quality. I might even get a, uh, what do you call, intro uh, little video set up. I'm going to work on that. So first part is I need a way to get video cards and stuff into the computer better. I'm also having some trouble with my 3D printing and the card reader I have keeps kicking out. So doing a little looking around. SanDisk made this professional oh holy cow that's horrible uh, uh shadows are their professional pro reader multi-card now I, they make a docking system it's like crazy expensive up in canada we're almost 400 dollars for that thing but these little docks you can interestingly enough buy them separately and then if you get the dock you can put them in so and it has a whole bunch of different cards i'm hoping they're going to get something for sd cards because that would be pretty sweet, because then I could just slam some SD cards in that thing and have some uh, removable storage. And then I had to get a, uh, uh, basically a Thunderbolt 4 cable, or Thunderbolt 3, or I think this is a USB 3.2 cable. I really don't care right now. I'm not looking for huge speeds. Anyways, I'm going to get this stuff going. I'm going to unbox it, show you a little bit about it, and we're going to try some stuff out here. Give me a few minutes to get this stuff all sorted out. Okay, let's look at uh, what we got here. So this is the Sanyoko USB 3, Thunderbolt 3, Thunderbolt 4, USB 4 compatible cable. I think it's just a Thunderbolt 3, but to my understanding, there's not a lot of difference there. It looks pretty good. It's got some nice braiding on it, and it's long enough to reach behind the desk and down into the computer. Uh, again, I'm using a desktop. I don't have uh, one of those fancy new iMacs, uh, so I'd love to get one, but are you kidding me? 5,000 Canadian for what I want? <laughs> Forget that. Here is the SanDisk Pro. It is uh, good for micro SD, SD and compact flash. Don't have any compact flash anymore, or I might have one or two, but I don't really do much with it. Uh, in the back side, it does have that USB-C slash Thunderbolt 3 slash Thunderbolt 4 slash USB 4 uh, connector. It's, uh, it's a nice piece of uh, nice piece of hardware here. I like it. It's fairly solid. I think this pops open. Not sure what that is for. Um, it might be for something on the dock. Not 100% sure. Um, but I like it. It's good little uh, reader. We'll see if it works. And then I didn't know if it came with a cable or not, but it does. So theoretically, you could bring a hub up closer to your computer, or again, this will just plug right into your uh, fancy dancy little laptop there with a Thunderbolt 3, USB 3, Thunderbolt 4, USB 4 port. So I can confirm it does have a cable that comes with it. So you don't need to see a fat old guy crawling underneath his desk. So I'm going to get this all hooked up and let's uh, see what happens there. All right. So I just did a little testing here and we're getting about, uh, this is just a, a SanDisk Ultra. Uh, I think it's a 16 gigabit card. Not a great card to, in any way, shape or form, but we're getting about 12 ish megabytes per second or sorry. Yeah. Megabytes per second. Uh, megabytes to megabits to gigabits to gigabytes. I hate it when they all use different uh, terms when they say, oh, it does this, it does that. Anyways, so on a relatively inexpensive crappy card, we're getting that as an upload speed. Once that's done, I'm going to copy this file or fo folder with a bunch of, it's a bunch of files on it onto my desktop and let's see how fast that goes. Okay, here we go. I'm going to grab my 3D object file. Let's drop that. Oh, we're getting uh, 456 megabytes per second. Fairly decent from a crappy card. Okay, I uh, picked up a few really cheap, uh, crappy 
micro SD cards just for the 3D printer. And these are Kuchion, K-O-O-T-I-O-N. Uh, they're just 16, 32 gigabyte cards. And uh, they're cheaper than the SanDisk, but, and I don't know if they're gonna last, but look at this. Um, we have 20, yeah, I'd say consistently 15 megabytes per second around there so a little better i wonder which one of the really high speed faster uh, cards could actually do Ooh, now here's a question do micro sd cards go any faster or slower if you put them in one of the sd card adapters it's all the same so i'm not seeing any significant uh, change in speed on upload onto the card eh, it's around that 12 ish megabytes per second Okay, let's let that go. Now, the next thing you may ask is, what happens if you put one card in the SD card slot and one card in the micro SD slot? Well, you get two separate folders. Let's grab our 3D object folder, pop it on that one. Well, looky that. Kind of neat, eh? Uh, what's our transfer speeds here? Well, actually looking better than from the computer hard drive to the folder. Oh yeah, this is going to that Kushian, Kution one, so uh, it's sort of all over the place. Not great, but it does work. And I wonder really if you had two much better cards, how that works. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty impressed so far. Okay, final impressions here, guys. This is a fantastic little unit. I wish I had not wasted all my money on the other things I've had in the past. If you need, uh, you know, one of these to move files for vo photos, for videos, lots of different things, I think it's a great little unit. Really well made. It's so far been absolutely dependable, way better than anything else I've used. If anything uh, on this video helps you out a little bit, hey, please like and subscribe. Right now, just go out, go to the workshop, go on your computer, do something that uh, is constructive, useful, go make a mess, have some fun. Talk to you guys later.